the movie opens up with showing a man named Al Simmons who is an assassin and a soldier. He gets into the airport control room and kills off everyone. And then he uses a rocket launcher to target a plane. He launches it and kills off the target including the others and he burns down the control room before leaving the place. And then we see a man is watching all of this from far next scene we see a man named Jason Wynn who is a businessman and he is the employer of Simmons. He is the one making Simmons do all this by making him think he is doing good things. He is talking with a clown demon from hell. The clown reminds Wynn about the weapon that he promised. Wynn reminds that a bioweapon is an exact science and it requires time and promises that he will keep his end of the bargain. The clown asks him one more thing before leaving. He asks that they want Simmons to be dead. Later we see a man named Terry who is Simmons' best friend and his colleague. He picks up Simmons and shows him a newspaper saying that their job is to kill bad guys, not the bystanders and tells they shouldn't work with Wynn anymore. Simmons gets to Wynn and he tells that he wants to quit. Wynn tries to convince Simmons so much but he made up his mind and he insists on quitting. And Wynn asks Simmons for one last mission saying he has to destroy a factory that is making biochemical weapons containing deadly viruses. Even though he is reluctant. At first Simmons agrees to the mission, Simmons gets to the factory and he kills some of the guards and enters the factory while he was looking for the weapons. He sees some explosives there, then Wynn enters there and Simmons asks if he is out of his mind reminding that there is a town nearby, but Wynn tells him that it is just an experiment. When Simmons draws out his gun he gets shot by a fellow assassin named Jess who works for Wynn and they pour oil on him and burns him down before leaving. Then the bombs also went off and the factory explodes. The next scene opens up in an old abandoned church in L.A. and it has been five years since Simmons is dead. He went to hell and made a pact with devil to return to the living world but he doesn't remember any of this. Simmons wakes up in that church with a completely burned body. He gets out of there and meets the man from the beginning of the movie and he offers Simmons a coat when he tries to leave cause people are being scared of his appearance. He takes the coat and leaves the place later. He goes to Wanda's house and sees a birthday party is being held in her house for her daughter and he watches all this by hiding in the bushes and sees that Wanda is married to his best friend Terry. Then their dog senses him and approaches Simmons and Wanda's daughter. Cyan also gets there following the dog. She sees him and while offering him a candy Wanda comes there and pulls her away. Terry comes there to check on and he scolds Simmons and tells him to get out of there. The clown approaches him to pick up Simmons and leaves from there after they are gone. Wanda tells Terry that he called her name. The clown gets him back to the church and while Simmons is in a terrible pain he asks the clown to get him to hospital too, which the clown tells that he has been dead for five years and also tells he is wearing the necro flesh. When Simmons doesn't believe him, the clown gives his memories back from the time in hell after he was killed by when he was sent straight to hell, and the devil offers him if he lead the hell's army. He can see Wanda again. Simmons agrees to the deal and the devil lets him go to earth to get his revenge and finish the devil's mission. Even after seeing all this Simmons doesn't believe it. Then the clown takes him to the graveyard and shows him his own grave and he gives Simmons a shovel to dig it up. Simmons digs it up and after seeing the locket that belongs to Simmons he confirms that he is dead. And while he is screaming in anger some spiky things appears out of his body and they cover him up forming a suit. And then the clown gets them back to the church after the clown left. While he was punching everything around in anger he notices he can generate weapons out of the suit and he decides to kill Wynn. Then man comes to Simmons and says don't let the devil get to you. And he also reveals that he is an assassin who used to kill for Kingdom of Saxon 500 years ago and tells he is also a spawn like him and his name is Kajalostro but Simmons ignores him and goes out of there. Meanwhile Wynn has completed the virus and named it Heat 16 and he plays plans on to disperse it across the world and make everyone get infected. But he has the antidote ready and plans on to giving to the only ones who obey him. And by the way he is planning to take over the whole world. Then Terry comes there to talk with Wynn and Wynn sends Jess out of there. Wynn tells him to take care of the accusations media is making on him when Terry tries to ask him more questions when indirectly threatens his wife and daughter. After their conversation is done they go to a party being held by Wynn for his partners. Meanwhile Simmons gets to one of the armory that belongs to Wynn and beats up the guards there to steal some weapons. After getting the weapons he sets off to the party and Terry arrives to the party and while they are talking with his partners Terry gets reported that one of their armory got infiltrated by someone. Terry informs this to Wynn and tries to get him out of there. Simmons then comes there through breaking the glass dome and he grabs Wynn by neck. 
when Win asks Wo Simmons reminds him of his last moments at the factory and he throws off Win. Then he gets to Terry and asks him why he cheated him. Terry tells him that Wanda is so devastated after his death and that is why he married her to get her out of it. Hearing this Simmons leaves him and goes on to Win. Then Jess comes there and starts a shootout on Simmons. He tries to escape but he gets shot multiple times. But the bullet hole soon starts to heal back while she is checking for Simmons. He comes from back and pins her to wall and then he shoots her down. Then the clown comes there and appreciates Simmons for killing her. Soon the guards arrives there and starts a fire on him. And Simmons shoots back when he gets shot by a shotgun. He goes through the window and starts to fall down. Then some chains appear out of his body and holds him to the wall and his hands transforms into sticky things to able to crawl on the wall. The cops arrives to scene and starts a fire on him. Simmons climbs up and then a cloak appears out of his body and makes him transforms into a pillar to hide from the cops. But the cops get eyes on him. Again after he turned back to normal due to the fire the edge breaks and when he is about to fall, the cloak appears again and he flies out of there like Superman. Later the clown approaches Wynn and he asks the clown why he hasn't warned about Simmons. The clown tells his arrival is sooner than expected and he advises Wynn to make a detonator and place it near his heart, so when his heart stops the bombs will go off so that no one will dare to touch him later. The devil summons the clown back to hell and reminds him of his job again. The clown then asks him why he didn't pick him up to lead the army. The devil shuts him up and tells him to complete the job quickly. Then we see Wanda as giving a presentation on the explosion that happened in the beginning of the movie and Sven is watching her from afar while playing Cyan gets lost and meets Simmons and he takes her back. Then Terry arrives there in a rush and he is trying to get them out of there. Wanda asks him what happened and Terry tells about the attack at the party but he didn't mention Simmons' name. They all leave the place in a rush but the dog sticks onto Simmons and doesn't want to leave him. And it follows Simmons. Meanwhile Wynn is having a heart surgery and he implanted the detonator near his heart so that when his heart stopped the bombs will go off and release the virus. Simmons gets back to the church and a kid named Zack who he helped earlier comes to meet Simmons while Zack was trying to befriend him. The clown appears there and Simmons tells Zack to go away from there. Simmons gets to know he is the one that made Win kill him and questions the clown about it. Then the clown answers him that there is evil in him more than he couldn't recognize but the devil did recognize it. So that's why he chose Simmons to be the leader of the Hell's Army. When Simmons rejects to join them the clown decides to teach him a lesson and transform into his true form, the Violator. Simmons fights off with him but he is no match for the clown's true demon's strength. He tries to hold his own against him, but in the end he gets beaten up, and the clown crucifies him when he still rejects to lead down the army. The clown decides to kill Wanda and sets off to go there after he left. Kahiso gets to Simmons and frees him up and Simmons falls unconscious after he woke up. Kahiso talks to him and tells Simmons is dead and he is spawned now and tells to let go off vengeance and reminds him why he wanted to leave killing when he was alive. Simmons decides to kill the clown and goes to get the guns. Chaos approaches Simmons and tells that guns are useless and demonstrates him how to use their powers. He explains the suit has the power to create anything possible. It turns the imagination into reality. He also teaches him how to use the powers after getting a hold on how to use his powers. Simmons goes to kill the clown and then he steals off someone's bike and goes to the clown. He chases up the clown who is in a truck and follows him up. When the clown tries to shoot him Simmons uses his cloak and transforms the bike and continues to follow him. And he spills some oil on the road making Simmons to slip off. And when he tries to hit Simmons he transforms his cloak into a spiky thing and destroys the truck. And the clown flies off to Wanda back at the home. Terry is going through the files he collected from Wynn and he finds all about the virus and his plans to destroy the world and become of the king of it and he transfers all these files to the media. Then Cyan and Wanda enters the room followed by Wynn. He shoots off the computer and punches Terry when the doorbell rings. He sends Wanda to answer the door. When she opens door the clown appears there and he tells Wynn that Spawn is on his way and tells him to be ready. After a while Spawn gets to the house and sees Wanda is tied up and being held hostage. Wynn asks him to join the Devil's Army. When Spawn is reluctant he stabs Wanda. Spawn gets angry on seeing this and he beats off when when he is about to get killed, 
Win tells about the device in his heart but Spawn doesn't care but he stops. When Win tells the little girl will also die. If he dies then Spawn uses his powers on and takes out the device and destroys it. Then Wanda gets back up and stabs Spawn in the neck and it turns out that is not Wanda but the clown. Then he shows Spawn the real Wanda. And when he is about to kill her Kohiso comes there and saves her from the clown and the clown runs into the fire. Then he gets Wanda free and takes out the knife. And Spawn gets healed back and soon they both both are taken into the hell by the clown, Call tries to fight the clown but he gets beaten up, then Spawn appears and fights with the clown's true form and he manages to stab the clown on the neck which makes him disappear. Then the devil appears in front of them and he orders his army to kill Spawn. But Spawn takes Castro and manages to escape out of there and get back to the living world. After they get back to Earth they both sit back thinking it is all over while Spawn is talking with chaos. When notices the clown is slowly emerging out of the flames the clown emerges from the hell and grabs off Spawn Castro. He beats up Spawn and slams him to the ground. And when he is about to eat Spawn, he uses his powers and transforms his helmet into spikes and digs up into the clown's head and he uses the chains as a chainsaw to cut off the clown's head. Then the clown disappear out of there and gets back to hell later the cops arrives there in arrest win for the things he did. And Terry tells the media that most of the Heat 16 bombs are destroyed and he releases all the information to media he had on Wynn's plans. And the movie ends with showing Spawn and he has become a hero now in protecting the world from demons. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like it and subscribe the channel and also click the bell icon to receive new video notifications.